Oh boy, 3 a.m. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm in Wynyard and the time is now 4.30 a.m. I think. Just got some McDonald's and I'm preparing to go to Balmoral Baths for a sunrise photo. I haven't been for a sunrise in a few months. The last one was a absolute disaster. Yeah, that one. Anyway, I'm joined by Alvin. You've seen in, in previous videos, where the hell is he? And a new guy here, Alex, say hi to the camera. No response. And we're going to take the bus, the BN1 up there. We're going to be there around 5.30 or so, but there's going to be a 30 hour downhill walk. Thank God. Either way, I'm going to finish up my uh, quote unquote breakfast and let's get going. We just walked a bit, got off the bus from Mossman, and walking downhill in basically, I can't say pitch dark conditions because some was okay with the street lamps, but other than that, yeah, pretty bad. I think it'll be better once we get down there, but other than that, uh, gotta be careful. Let's keep going. Okay, after walking around, say, 30 minutes downhill, hopefully you can actually see my face right now because it's just so dark, I've arrived at Balmoral Baths, and this is one of those sea water swimming pools, but honestly speaking, you can't see anything I know. I'll use some low-light mode to film the entire place, and there's one very big street lamp over there shining to this place, so luckily I can actually see something. I'm gonna look around, and it's around an hour before sunrise, so I have some time to set up and scat a little bit. I think I'm gonna use this platform and shoot completely northbound. Hopefully the sunrise comes up right behind me. I'm expecting it to be a little bit off ball, but it should be fine. Okay, I'll scout around and uh, I'll see you when I'm setting up, okay? Half an hour has passed and I've put up half of my stuff. So the majority, like the flash, the camera, tripods and all that, I set up half of it just to be ready for the sunrise. But I just looked at the times and it's currently not even 6 a.m., 5.55. And twilight hour starts at around 6.25, I think. So I still have around half an hour, actually not really, but I got to prepare for the sunrise. I'll resume the setup process as soon as possible and hopefully I get something good with the sunrise. The angle's a little bit off ball, but to this side, so calculations are a little bit off. Hopefully everything goes right. All right, after a really, really long step process, here we have the first shot of the day. I actually haven't done a sunrise shot in over four months or so, so the entire thing being really dark and the lighting being challenging really didn't <laughs> help out with the entire thing. Hopefully everything goes all right and the shot looks okay. The sun's actually a little bit below the horizon right now. It's not exactly sunrise yet. However, the clouds in the distance have just covered the entire horizon and I'm not really confident on the sun really beaming onto the swimming pool. Anyway, let's take a look at what I'm using. The 15 to 35 at 35 millimeter F4, shooting a landscape orientation along this entire walkway. 
I think it's a walkway. It's like a swimming pool. And two lights on top like this, shining and balancing the light with the face. Now, this time the flashes are doing a different function. This one is fulfilling the front in a way giving more contrast to the doll and the outfit itself and this one over here is only providing some fill light for behind the hat and the little bag it has because everything behind there is a little bit too dark originally i didn't really want to use the flashes because it was too dark however with the sun rolling in i think they came in handy anyway let's take a look at the shot all right looks pretty decent and before we move on to our next one a word from our sponsor Thank you to Oz GK for sponsoring this video. Oz GK is a figure platform dedicated to garage kit figures, ranging from popular anime franchises to games such as Genshin Impact. Check out the link in the description down below and enter code LEMON2 for a 2% discount off your entire order. Thank you for supporting me and now back to the video. Okay, I just walked over to my friends and originally we're supposed to be done, but they found a bird in the water. So I'm gonna wait for them to take a shot of that. The bird's just dunking in and out of the water and they're just flocking like birds, oh God. Anyway, I'm gonna go over to the headland. I think it's right over here or so and do some scouting, see if I can get like a pseudo sunrise shot because the sun is covered by the clouds right here. As you can see, the sun's supposed to come up like right here or so. It's all covered up. You can't exactly see the sun rays. If not, I'm going to head over to the pavilion that I scouted earlier this morning. So it should be all good. All right, let's get going. Okay, I've taken a look at the headland and the so-called sunrise thing right behind me and unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be anything up there. Everything is just that little bit off. I can't get the sea and the sun and the headland all in one photo. So no, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I've come down to the pavilion, which is right in front of the headland, like right up here. And this is a place very famous for wedding stuff. A lot of people actually come here for weddings and book out the entire place. Last time I was here in early 2022, the whole place was flooded with people, chairs and all that all along this way. Now I plan to do a upward shot, maybe with the violin across the pavilion like this with the sun in the background. But I saw these fences right here and I might shoot through them with say a 50 or 70 millimeter. Hopefully they look good. I'm not too sure how this is gonna go. Either way, let's start setting up. Alright, we have the second shot of the day set up and honestly speaking, the sun direction is not optimal. It's right in my face and everything's a little bit overexposed, but I guess it is what it is. I should have come here earlier and I should have skipped the scout for that useless headland over there. Now let's take a look at what I'm using. The 15 to 35 at 28 millimeter, f2.8 because I want to blow out everything at the back. Should be alright, I suppose with two flashes on either side, this time as the main light source for the face. Now this light right on top of the camera is just for assisting the entire barricade in front 
because they will be too dark if I don't stack and I'm not exactly confident that I will stack either. Shooting in a landscape orientation and a little bit upwards through the fences, hopefully this looks somewhat good. Again, 16 by 9 crop with a little bit boost on the shadows should look all right. Okay, let's take a look at the shot. All right, I'm done. Looks good enough, I suppose. So let's get out of here. That was the last shot for today. And I'd say overall today was all right. I woke up at 2.30 and got to the city around four-ish. Uh, met up with my friends who I haven't seen for like four months. Alvin's behind the camera, thank you very much. Okay, one sunrise shot, one normal looking, actually you can get pretty much anywhere kind of pavilion shot. I did want to get something on the headland up there, but unfortunately there wasn't really much on offer. I know that the sun was going to come out and the clouds were going to disappear around, say, 7.30 or 8 or so, but the sunrise itself was a little bit too high and I couldn't get the reflections I wanted. Nothing so far in there, so I just gave it the place, came back down. Thankfully I did, because if I were to come back down a little bit later, the sun would have risen too much and the reflections would have gone really, really bad. Overall speaking, it's all right. Either way, thank you very much for watching the video to the very end. Like and subscribe if you want more content. And let me know what you think about the new BTS format. I might change up a little bit more. Overall, I think that's the new format for now. Either way, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Lemon, out.